Yo guys, welcome back to another video. This is gonna be a, a, a nice little inside scoop for you guys because my friends over at the Ramen Bowl, shout out to the Ramen Bowl, um, back in Texas, represent. Um, we're doing some of the production at the Play TCG Arlington Offline Regional that just finished recently. I was staying up until ungodly hours watching it over here in Japan. Let's just say I didn't get a lot of sleep last night because the games were just so juicy and I just couldn't stop watching. But my buddy Chakra from over at the Ramen Bowl was able to get an interview with Jesse who won and get a breakdown of his Gecko Moria deck, ask him questions about the deck, ask him about card choices, look at the ratios and all that. So I have this video for you. They, they wanted to give this video to me so I could post it on my YouTube. So I hope you guys are all cool with that and I hope it, it really helps because I wanna get, wanted to get this out as quickly as possible. Shout out to Jesse for the win. Shout out to all the players who topped. Shout out to everyone who just went to the event and had fun. Shout out to the Ramen Bowl. You guys are the best. I love you guys so much. And uh, yeah, check out the interview if you're interested. Go watch the stream if you haven't. And uh, that's gonna be it for me. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. All right, guys, I'm here with Jesse Burrell, the winner of the Play TCG Arlington Regional. How are you feeling, man? Awesome. Feeling great, man. Oh, this is a long weekend. I was going to say, you piloted Gecko Moria all the yes, way to sir. the top. Oh, hey, Gecko. Yeah, yep. That's the boy. The non alt art, too. Absolutely. Nothing is alt art in my deck. I am a scrub. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's the I way. That's the listen. The right. anti shiny deck. I love it. But uh, do you want to go ahead and show everyone uh, what you were cooking? Well, before I do, real quick, I'm also a revolutionary. We use Shanks with the Navy done, just because. There we go. Well, I mean, ha half the deck is Navy. It makes sense, makes sense. Oh, I just, because he went against the Navy in the anime. True. But, uh, yeah. Starting True. off, we got four sewers, of course. The basic 2K, the best in the deck. Then we got the, well, sorry, this is the best in the deck. Sendry, four of. Agreed. This chick was glued to my hand. It was fantastic. Never didn't have her. Uh, I played three Helmepo just because there's some times uh, against like Yellow and a couple other matchups where they have five costs and you can just hard play this and then leader swing play Absalom and KO it. So, you know, it's, I, I don't mind like drawing it uh, and he's got a counter value, which is always nice. I mean, in games you don't see it, those are the games that are the toughest too. If you don't get it in trash Absolutely, with your Luchi, yeah, it's you very, gotta see it. yep. you gotta see it. So three, three helps with that. I basically cut the fourth brand new for it. I think three is fine just because like you really want to go first most of the time and you can't do it. It's just really awkward trying to play brand new going first. Like your five non-turn Okay, but even sure. then, there's there's other plays you can do, and it's fine. Uh, I played the one of Tashigi. Um, I thought about cutting this for a lot of things, but all of them either didn't have a counter value or had less of a counter value, and I'm, I'm fine just keeping an extra 2k that's searchable. Um, theoretically, you can play this on the sixth on turn going second, and like tap minus two, put something to a two cost, leader swing, Absalom, KO it, and then like... Yep, set you yourself up. Yeah, yeah being able to set that, yourself like, up, yeah. If they attack it at that point, it's functionally equivalent to countering with it on a 2k, but it gave you the free value of also minusing something, so you kind of got double double value out of it. Makes sense. Um, so like, it's cool in theory, that never came up. But, Plus, you know, the, the extra 2k is never bad. No. Oh, I, I love having counters. I'm, I'm a big counter maniac, so... Of course, we had four of each of the Thriller Bark main peeps. Absolutely. Absalom, Hogback, Perona. Uh, the babe herself. Watch the finals. This chick is crazy. Yeah, I do. Perona <laughs> put in work. 100%. Oh Kata's already going low on hand a lot of the time, so losing the oh. extra card is very, very, very tough. Absolutely. So we played two Kuzans. Just, just standard stuff, pretty much. Um, you know, a quick question on the Kuzan. Yeah. Did it come in handy at all during this run in the uh, towards the finals? Or like you know what I mean? Like was it was it a very clutch card for certain moments or So it was very rare that he actually stuck on the table. Even against yellow, they like always had Godatsu's. But if he does stick on the table and I get to swing with it, this guy's crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, which I think I did. I don't I don't remember if it was in the finals or if it was like top four or something, but he did stick at one point and it was great. At worst though, I still really like him because he draws a card to replace himself. So, I mean, even if they, well, he, he does two things. He draws a card to replace himself, which is great, but he also is such a threat to your opponent. He kind of forces them into awkward play lines sometimes yep. where they have to deal with it, even though they don't want to. Um, like yellow using a reject early, being able to pop it like bro, that, like that. I'm sure that happened a good chunk. My favorite is actually on the seven dawn turn going like leader swing, play a body and then play Kuzan. And then it's like, you're going to your eight dawn turn. You really want to be playing that big mom. But if you play that big mom or the Katakuri or something, this guy, well, I mean, if you play Kata, you can throw him to life. I so like, using it to force uh, suboptimal plays. Pretty much. That's yeah. awesome. Yep. It's, it's great. Like, oh, you want to reject kill it? Okay, you're not playing big mom. That's Makes great sense. For me. You know, it's, it just, yeah. Forcing people into play lines is great. Uh, three Borsalino. Um, I guess some people cut this for like Rebecca Hina. I hadn't had a chance to test it myself, but I mean, Borsalino was great for me. Um, 
I actually won a mirror match in Swiss just by like Gecko playing Borsellino and a body that didn't matter. Yep. And like, you just couldn't deal with the Gecko and you couldn't deal with this. So I, was, I had enough bodies to swing Lethal next turn. Uh, three Luchis, um, you want to see him, but uh, I think four is a little too much. Um, Although I didn't see him a lot of games this this weekend, so and it, yeah, you know what? There's My actually favorite. a couple of games I remember watching where you know you had to pop with Absalom. Just some of the bigger bodies not being able to wipe two things, but you know, as long as you can get that one off, you know, thank God. Yeah, at least I have Absalom to fall back on, unlike Sak Sakazuki. So uh, three Sabos. Uh, this card's crazy. What else can you say? Uh, oh. It just wins the mirror. It wins yellow. It wins so many matchups. Even great against Sakazuki. I did it versus a Sakazuki where he was going first, right? And when they're on the stage build, they don't play Ice Age. So yep. their nine on turn trying to go for a Gecko is super awkward because normally they like to go Gecko, get cost reduction dudes, and then like sword your two guys. Mm -hmm. Nine on they can't do that, which means like if I go uh, play a body, play Sabo, their Gecko can go grab Luchi, but that can't KO anything because they're protected. So it just really puts some pressure on them. Makes on sense. Play lines. Um, well, you know what? A question on that. I see a lot of Gecko Morias moving into four Sabo realm. Mm -hmm. After playing the event with three, is that something you would consider, or do you think three is the magic number? I'm an animal. I didn't even play this in Swiss rounds on uh, day one at all, period. What? I, I never played this Out card. of ten rounds. Out of ten rounds. Uh, maybe my opponents weren't good enough to make me play it, or maybe I just oh. am bad enough to not play it. I don't I, know. It's, listen. It's, hey, it's, got, it got you there. That's all that matters. Either way, no. Three was fine. Okay. Three was fine. I had it when I needed it. Um, four geckos, obviously. And then uh, we just got the events. Four great eruptions and four ice age. Yep, absolutely. Hey. Standard stuff. Absolutely. So, okay. Over the whole two days, what, what do you think out of this deck was the most clutch card? Like, what came in handy the most? Hmm, I mean, I would say this, but I think that's a basic answer. Because yeah, yeah oh, obviously. How about besides gecko? Two... This chick was glued to my hand, man. This this chick makes the deck work. Um, if you don't have her, you want to at least have Brandon. And if you don't have either one of those, it is a rough time. A hundred percent. It's a rough time, but I was very lucky. I had her every time. For I was gonna say in the let's see in the uh, the let's see the round before the finals, your first two games, you did not have you did not see her, right? Or was that the game before that when you were on stream? I can't remember. Um, I want to say top four. I went second the first two games and opened Brandon each time. Yes. The third game I opened Sindri. Yep. So. Yep. Brandon's like functionally is good although sometimes or a lot of times actually i'll end up hitting like this this and this or this or something and i just whiff on brand new and i don't even get names in the trash so like yep sometimes it happens sometimes seeing the eight drop and trash is good you're like all right hopefully this, yeah. yeah hopefully we see hog back but i agree yeah. i think i think cutting the three on the brand new was I've a good this call is fine if you see this but if you don't see this guy until later then yeah. <laughs> absolutely well that's awesome man well congratulations on your big tournament run uh and obviously you got an amazing Matt to show off now and uh, <laughs> but hey congratulations yeah I was gonna say any any uh, local players that you want to shout out shout out some shops absolutely I mean got to start with God you know keeping it high team Jesus team, I mean, G team Jesus took you to the top all the way, man. Uh, <laughs> I shout love out it to my mom for being with me all weekend she's my, my biggest supporter my biggest fan um, shout out the castle that's that's our store that's our locals uh, all the all the people watching all my all my friends and everything cheering me on the whole way it was it was great. Awesome. Go, well, baby. Yeah, it was an absolute pleasure watching you play, and uh, congratulations again. Taking Thanks. it all the way, man. Thanks.